and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My hands are shaking, my legs were trembling, and my heart was popping out of my chest. Two years ago, I was standing in the middle of the stage of the 52nd Old Cup. That was my first time that I delivered my speech walking around the big podium. I was so nervous that I said thank you master of ceremonies to the judges and honorable judges to the master of ceremonies. <laughs> yes, I was feeling a lot of pressure. Have you ever felt huge pressure and you cannot perform your best? For most of you, when you have to perform at your very best, you are seized with huge pressure and you cannot perform your best. However, what if you can have confidence even under pressure and pressure enhances your performance? Isn't it wonderful? So today, I'd like to change your perception towards pressure so that you can change pressure into power. It is scientifically proven that pressure hinders one's performance. According to Henry Wiesinger, a famous psychologist in America, 90% of people cannot perform their best because of pressure. It means that 9 out of 10 of you in this room are actually pressed down by pressure. I was not an exception. Throughout the speech in the Oak Cup, I was feeling so much pressure that I choked a lot and I just stumbled over words. While panicking, my presentation was getting faster and faster. Hey, Ripay, it will ruin your performance. Calm down and pace down. I was trying to manage it, but I couldn't help it. As a result, it was all ended up in failure. But why? I practiced a lot. I memorized every word. But why did I fail? I failed because I imagined my future failure too much and it changed pressure into a threat. Moreover, I tried to calm down. However, the more I try to calm down, the less adrenaline my body supplied to the cells. It's made my brain and body dull. In order not to repeat the same failure, I try to imagine my future success. I thought I can become a better public speaker and I can reward my section members when I do perform my best. This way of thinking increased my joy, which made my brain clear and my body energized. It made me excited. A half year later, I was standing on the stage of the 43rd Okuma Cup. My hands were shaking. My legs were trembling. And my heart is popping out of my chest. But I persuade myself. Okay, Ripei, this is exactly the stage that you wish to stand. Just enjoy it, and everything is going to be fine. This time, pressure motivates me to make my performance better. In front of a hundred of audience, I find myself concentrating on my speech with my inner excitement. Finally, I could get a prize in the open contest and change pressure into power. This experience taught me an important lesson of how to change pressure into power. The key is excitement. According to Alison Wood Brooks, a professor at Harvard Business School, positive excitement easily makes ourselves excited. So we need to make ourselves excited. Now, some of you might wonder, it is difficult we, when we feel huge pressure to make ourselves excited. However, this is actually true 
as I experienced in the Oak Cup. I thought, I want to bring my performance. However, if you imagine your future success, you can easily make yourself excited. In my case, I thought how rewarding it would be in the 43rd Okuma Cup. As you can see, thinking about the successful positive situation instead of the negative unsuccessful situation is an effective way to make you get excited. What I want to insist here is that this argument is not based on emotion. It's based on recent scientific research. Psychologically, when you truly believe in your success, your body releases adrenaline, which makes you get excited. So, just believe in your success. Think about the successful, positive situation. Ladies and gentlemen, pressure is not a threat. Pressure is power. As I mentioned in the beginning, 9 out of 10 of you in this room are actually pressed down by pressure. However, please remember that you also have the potential to be pushed up by the same pressure. Even now, I am feeling a lot of pressure, but I am confident. Why? Because I believe I can change your perception towards pressure by delivering my speech. This idea gets me excited because when I accomplish it, it doesn't only mean that I could deliver my best speech, but it also means that I could change my pressure into my power. Now, I'm inviting you to step forward, to have confidence and to change your pressure into your power. Thank you.